Ray Clay. Time, please direct your attention to center court, where the Chicago Bulls are pleased to introduce NBA Commissioner David Stern for a special presentation. determination, and leadership. Congratulations, 1995-96 NBA Most Valuable Player. and he's determined to be the most valuable player of the finals. Game two against Orlando tonight. These days, Chicago leading it one game to none. And let's check the matchups for tonight. Concac and Rodman, Scott and Pippen, O'Neal, Longley, Anderson and Michael Jordan, and Penny Hardaway and Ron Harper. Our officiating crew tonight, Joe Crawford, Ed Middleton, and Bill Oaks. John Konkak, who has averaged only eight minutes in the playoffs thus far, expected to play 24 to 30 tonight. And it'll be O'Neal and Longley at center. Anderson controls for Orlando and puts it in the hands of Penny Hardaway, and he's picked up by Scotty Pippen. You can see, Vern, they're starting off right with some pick down, some motion offense, trying to get Dennis Scott and Nick Anderson involved in the offense. And they did immediately. Scott comes off the screen, then drives, something he doesn't do a lot of, and gets the first basket of the game. So already things are looking up for Orlando. Right, they're already ahead of where they were in game one. But right there, that's a matchup we got to worry about. Dennis Scott, not a great defensive player, is matched up with Scottie Pippen at the other end. Here's Penny Hardaway. O'Neal sets the screen. Harper guarding Hardaway. Jordan has Nick Anderson. He fights for position. Does the fadeaway. Too strong. Longley gets position and puts it in the hands of Scotty Pippen. Well, we see two guys ready to score tonight. Very embarrassed by game one performance. But there we have it again. Scotty Pippen going right by Dennis Scott. This on for Dennis Rodman for the easy two. That's going to be a problem all night long. They've got to be aware of Dennis Scott and Scottie Pippen and help out. Brian Hill told us this morning at the other end, here's O'Neal, who is fouled by Longley. Well, right here, they're looking for Dennis Scott coming off the picks. He sees Ron Harper cheat over the pick, does the right thing going into the basket. But here at the other end, Scottie Pippen goes right around. Shaq comes over to help out Rodman for the easy lay-in. O'Neal at the free throw line. He was one of seven here on Sunday. And things have really gone sour for him at the line. He is now 15 of 53 in the last four games and a couple of minutes. It's really important for Shaq to continue trying to draw fouls. They say they have the four-headed monster at center, eeny, meeny, miny, and mo, but they have got to be aggressive. Luke Longley is the best of all those guys, and getting him in foul trouble could be big for Shaq. Well, Eeny has uh, drawn the first foul, and O'Neal gets the rebound. At the other end, Nick Anderson for three. Longley with a rebound. Michael Jordan, who had only 21, and served more as an orchestrator in game one. Here's Longley, looks underneath, finds Pippen, who's posting up. O'Neal with a double team that leaves Rodman open. 
that's terrible defense by Orlando. Rodman's the guy you want to leave open, but you can't give up the dunk. Rodman's like Shaq, not a good free throw shooter, at least fouling and making shoot free throws. Rodman had 13 to go with his 21 rebounds on Sunday. O'Neal, Longley puts a body on him. Now Pippen comes to help. Foul on Longley, that's two. That's important for Shaq. Shaq has got to find a way to dominate in the low post. Right here, we got Pippen posted up. Shaq does the right thing, going to double team. Concac has got to get over. Penny's got to get down and help. They got to rotate better on defense. Dennis is too smart of an offensive player to just leave him wide open. Longley plays O'Neal straight up, has problems with the ball in the paint, misses the shot. Here comes Chicago. Scotty Pippen. He's had shooting problems in the last five games. Here's Harper, but he's helped out in so many other ways. Oh, Scotty Pippen, such a great player, great defensive player, sets him up in the offense, and Burr, he's increased his rebounding from six to nine in the playoffs. Michael Jordan with the three. And at the 9-15 mark, it's a 7-3 Chicago lead. And Scotty Pippen already with three assists. Now Harper guards Scott. Plays him way out. Rodman on O'Neal. And Shaq gets the basket and draws the foul. And we see the switch in the matchup right away. Longley with two quick fouls. Rodman, who did a great job on Shaq in game one. But Shaq not very happy with his performance in game one. Doesn't feel like Dennis is strong enough or weighs enough to defend him in the low post. Has to continue to attack and dominate that low post position. Shaquille is two of three from the free throw line. That augurs well for Orlando. And a one-point game. We'll see how much stamina Shaq has because they keep fresh bodies on him. He's got to keep going. He's got to try to force sometime in this series Chicago to start double-teaming him. Jordan cutting. O'Neal gets the rebound, gives it up to Nick Anderson. And a chance for Orlando to regain the lead now. Here's Dennis Scott for three. Oh, and a very important right there. That's one reason why Dennis Scott is guarding Scottie Pippen right now, because in transition, Ron Harper has been defending Dennis Scott. Because they're a cross match, it's a lot more difficult finding him in transition. That time was a perfect indication. Scott over three has hit two shots already. Here's the tip. Longley can't control. Concac has it. Hardaway leaves it for Dennis Scott. Harper picks him up. Scott finds O'Neal. Jordan tries to take it away, and O'Neal gets the basket. Good play by Dennis Scott right there. Didn't get the basket, but his aggressiveness at offensive end, backing Ron Harper down, made him get the open shot and the open dunk for Shaq. Rodman misses on the jumper. Harper gets the rebound. It's short, and at the other end, uh, contact to it right to Rodman. Scotty Pippen. Right now, you just cannot make that kind of outlet pass. Conkak does a great job. I don't know who he was passing that long outlet pass to. Here's Hardaway off the screen. That's for three. Nope. Rodman with the rebound. That's his first board. Michael Jordan picked up by Nick Anderson. Pippen in the low post. Scott. Longley's open. Conkak and Pippen with the putback is up. He's fouled. And there's Scotty Pippen again, Vern. He is averaging four offensive rebounds in the playoffs. Right here, John Conkak does a good job. I don't know. He can't throw a chest pass 94 feet. Comes up a lot short right in Rodman's hands. Gives the easy basket right back to Pippen. Nick Anderson with the foul, his first. Scotty Pippen at the free throw line. It's like that old uh, reverse tackle pass again. You, know, you got to give the ball to the guards and let them throw the ball up the court unless you can make that pass. A one-point game with 7.13 to go opening quarter. In that Sunday debacle for Orlando, of course, they fell behind 10 zip at the outset. Here's Anderson. Beautiful execution by Orlando. They're playing very aggressive offense. Everybody's getting involved. Chicago went to the trap. Orlando did the right thing and attacked it. Took the first available shot. Orlando five of nine from the field early on. Here's Jordan. Drives the baseline. And is fouled by Concac. Right idea by Concac. Just didn't get over to seal that baseline off quick enough. 
Three-point Orlando lead. Over. Scotty Pippen is being defended by Dennis Scott, and one reason was to create mismatches at the other end, particularly in transition. We see right here, Scotty Pippen thinks he's guarding Penny Hardaway, who's all the way over here, but Ron Harper has picked up Penny right there. Nobody sees Scott over here on the weak side, wide open, except Penny Hardaway. Little bit of confusion. That's what Brian Hill was trying to get by making the cross matchup, and that time the strategy paid off. Dennis Scott with five points in the early going and another statistic that just roared at all of us was the rebounding edge on Sunday 62 28 for Chicago. Well it's a six to five edge for Chicago in the early going. Here's Jordan over Anderson. Oh beautiful shot. What great defense by Anderson. Did right I, see a snake face. Bite? I don't know if I saw snake bite. He was close. He had his hand up to the ball in his face. Michael just made a beautiful shot. For those of you who have not. Oh, here's Jordan with the steal. Pippen on the right side. Jordan takes it all the way. And is short with the layup. Anderson tracks it down, but he's on the line. For those of you who weren't with us a couple of weeks ago, we had a seminar on snake bites. Yes. Right here, though, Penny just makes a careless pass. Doesn't see Michael going over the top on the pick. Goes to the fast break basket, but great defense coming back. Dennis Rodman, great hustle on Jordan Smith's layup. Keeping the ball alive for the Bulls. In the nine playoff games they've played thus far, Chicago has forced 20 turnovers per game. Orlando with two tonight. O'Neal, no. Rodman was there. Just distracted him. Here's Pippen at the other end. Goes by contact. Rodman over the top. Loose ball foul. Dennis Rodman is second. Well, Dennis just kept the ball alive the time before. Great hustle by Dennis. Unfortunately, just bumped into Concax back. But right here, you know, Dennis Scott does a pretty good job on Pippen. He's got a lot bigger body, can do a much better job than Penny Hardaway down in the low post on Pippen. Good offensive strip right there. Bill Jackson's going to his bench. Tony Kukoc and Bill Wennington replace Rodman and Longley. Rodman leaves with four points. And one rebound. And Brian Hill's going to counter and get Brian Shaw in for contact. They don't want the Twin Towers in the game when Chicago goes with the small lineup because then they don't have anybody to defend Kukoc. Now Tony Kukoc will pick up Nick Anderson, Brian Shaw, and Hardaway in the backcourt. Entry pass to O'Neal. Wennington puts a body on him. And Shaq over the top and gets the basket. Well, Shaq might have got fouled that time by Winnington. Winnington's a lot lighter than Luke Longley is. And Shaq should have an easy time and should be able to get to the rim against Winnington. Kukoc, he's had shooting woes in the playoffs. Missed three of the New York series, of course, with a bad back. Here's Hardaway at the other end. He'll penetrate. Ah, oh, dandy. Beautiful play by Penny Hardaway. You know, bro, Kukoc with a bad back. The hardest thing to do as a player with a bad black back is move your feet defensively. He's trying to defend Nick Anderson. A perfect opportunity for Anderson to take advantage of Kukoc. Wennington with the pass goes awry underneath. It'll be Chicago's to throw in. This is why Penny Hardy, he's got the whole game. Right here, he just drives in over the big people. Beautiful touch off the glass. Great finish by Hardaway. Kukoc to Pippen. Now Ron Harper gives it up. Wennington kicks it back to Michael Jordan for three. Off the mark, way off the mark. There's Scotty Pippen on the glass again. Almost, he's the second leading offensive rebounder on the team. Only a few behind Dennis Rodman so far in the playoffs. Pippen will throw it in. Five point Orlando lead. Chicago shooting only 31%. They're five of 16. Illegal defense called against Orlando. And the key for him so far is keeping him from getting too many offensive boards. They've got a couple so far, kept the ball alive, but not as near as many as they had by dominating game one. Well, we keep going back to Rodman in that first game had seven offensive boards to six as a team for Orlando. Well, Orlando does a lot of standing around. They're playing a lot more Orlando Magic basketball tonight, much more active on offense. Michael Jordan is fouled. Wants a goaltending call. Doesn't get it. Orlando on Brian Shaw on his first. Foul on Brian Shaw. Well, right here, Shaq comes over to block the ball. Gets a good, clean block. Grab the rim after he blocked the ball. Inadvertently, good no call by the officials. Michael was talking about his role in game one when 
He misses the free throw here. Everyone expected him to try and take over the game to redeem himself for the uh, four games to two loss last year, and he really was more of an orchestra conductor. Well, there's been a lot written about him orchestrating the offense, but Michael's one of those guys that does it when he has to, and they were never close. The game was over in early in the first half, and they won a 30-point win. Michael's smart enough to know when to turn it on. O'Neal. Good coach has Anderson. Comes down to double on Shaquille. They battle for the loose ball. It goes to Nick Anderson. He finds Brian Shaw for three. Air ball. Off of Ron Harper, it'll be Orlando's to throw in. Well, we can see two quick offensive rebounds by it, Orlando. But right here, when they go to the bench, when they go to Shaw, here comes the double. Shaq goes right in between Winnington, rushes the shot a little bit, just gets a piece of the dunk, misses it, but they kept the ball alive. Very active on the offensive boards, Orlando. 4.27 to go, opening quarter. Scott misses the three, Winnington with the rebound. A four-point Orlando lead. Shaw has Harper. New coach. Scott knocks it away. Here's Anderson at the other end. Nick Anderson, who grew up not far from here, played uh, collegiately at Illinois. What another good de post defensive play by Dennis Scott. Not a great defender down there, made two big defensive plays so far in the game. And a great finish by Nick Anderson, using his body in the rim to seal off Scotty Pippen. Orlando by six. Pippen for three. That's a big bonus for the Bulls if Scotty or Kukoc can get hot. They haven't shot the ball well from the perimeter, but they still find ways to win. If those guys get hot from the outside, Vern, Orlando's in trouble. Jordan fights through the screen and continues to guard Shaw. Ten on the shot clock with 3.23 to go in the opening quarter. Hardaway over Pippen. Nope. Ron Harper has it for Chicago. Scott. I'm glad I didn't pick on him in the open about being in a Scott. No D. He's made three big defensive plays so far. Right here, Ron Harper who thinks he can go right over. Dennis sacrifices his body. And right here, the time before, good post defense. Carl Malone type strip him down low. You sound a little surprised. Yeah, his name is Ennis Scott in Orlando. He just opened a restaurant called 3D, and I thought he should have called it No D. 248 to go, opening quarter. Hardaway, jump hook, good. Well, Penny scored on a double team. He had Nick Anderson wide open at the three-point line, but he also had a wide open little four-foot jump hook. Good coach with the scoop shot. Here comes Brian Shaw with a rebound. Nick Anderson alters the shot. Dennis Scott gets it back to Anderson. And Jordan brings out, brings it out. I like the way Orlando's playing aggressive offense. And, you know, maybe some shots, some people might think they're ill-advised, but it's much better taking those than being hesitant. I like Nick Anderson, even though he's not shooting the ball well right now, being aggressive at the offensive end. By the way, again, we're nearing the two-minute mark of the opening quarter. Over Wennington, and O'Neal is there to grab it and put it in. I actually think that might have been a pass by Penny. Realized he was in the air, didn't have a good look, just threw it up over the other side to Shaft. Shaquille has ten points. Loose ball, Hardaway, Pippen, Pippen control. Contact getting ready to come back on the four, five on the shot clock. Pippen taken away by O'Neal. Hardaway, this is left side, Harper's there defensively. Saves it, call timeout. Oh, big play, big play by Harper right there. Stopping a three-on-two break with Penny Hardaway, Shaquille O'Neal. Time is called. See Shaq missed the dunk. This is what he's talking about in game one. Look at he's just walking back down the court, not getting back involved in the offense. Bill Winnington gets a dunk the other way. That is not winning basketball, Vern. They've got to do the things that Nick Anderson said. Get back on defense, miss or make. 
And you've seen evidence of that tonight. Yeah, tonight they're missing some shots, but they're getting back. They're playing with a lot more intensity, a lot more of an attitude. And the rebounding battle, Danny, Danny thus far has been uh, even. 11 for Chicago, 10 for Orlando. Of course, Rodman is on the bench. One rebound, two fouls. And that's a great sign, a great sign. Shaq did a good job of getting Longley and Rodman into foul trouble early. O'Neal will get a rest with 10 points and five rebounds. Michael Jordan misfires on the shot. And here comes Orlando. They are up by five with 110 remaining in the opening quarter. Brian Shaw. Michael Jordan now two of seven in the field. Hardaway posting up, guarded by Pippen. Hardaway having a tough time getting the ball into the post against Pippen. On the miss, Jordan with a rebound. Here's Ron Harper. Contact sets and denies him access. They get it into Pippen again. And it's saved by Harper. Here's Wennington with that little jumper that he's thrived on for nine years in the NBA. Well, that's one thing Wennington can do is shoot that 15-foot baseline jumper. Good, scrappy offense right there. Loose balls. Chicago comes up with more than their share. Hardaway goes by right into two coach, and it's taken away by Ron Harper. Another Four. big defensive play by Harper. He makes so many of the little plays that have such an impact on the game. Great defense by Kukoc taking the charge, and Harper anticipating the cross-court pass. Kukoc, he's one for 27 from three-point range in the playoffs. Here's Wennington again. In and out. Pippen. Too late. Would not have counted. We have reached the end of one. And the Orlando Magic are leading by three, 23-20. Danny? Well, here we see a great example of a Tony Kukoc, not known for his defense, does a great job of sealing Penny off baseline. And there's Ron Harper anticipating weak side. And here they go down to one of their best plays, Penny Hardaway. There's a lot of traffic around there with Jordan Pippen and Harper. He can't even get the ball in the post, has to step out, settle for the long-range three-point shot. And as we open the second quarter, a couple of lineup changes. Steve Kerr is on for Jordan, or rather for uh, Chicago. And Anthony Bowie has come on the floor now for the Orlando Magic. Bowie guards Kerr. Kuko, alley-oop. Punched away, out of bounds. That'll be Orlando's ball. Well, Tony had Pippen open on the post. Waited, hesitated. By the time he threw it, it was too late. Kukoc's shooting woes continued here Sunday afternoon, but my goodness, he was a force with his assist. He had 10 in the game. The illegal defense, that's the first call against Chicago, and a check in with Craig Sager. During the last time out, the training staff of the Orlando Magic stretched the legs of Penny Hardaway. He's had those sore hamstrings, and he came over to the bench and said they were bothering him. It's a precautionary method. Um, thing that they've been doing throughout the series. We may want to keep an eye on it because he said it was very painful. Burn. Okay, Craig, Hardaway gets a rest now. Here's Scott, entry pass to O'Neal. Wennington straight up. Two coach comes to help late, but the shot is good. And that's what Shaq has to need. He needs to be persistent. He needs to keep backing Wennington down. He can get anything he wants on Wennington down low if he's patient. O'Neal, who had 27 in game one, has 12 now. Here's Jordan. Back to Pippen for three. Bowie comes out of O'Neal with another rebound. He's got six. Right now we see Jackson as soon as Brian Hill goes with Anthony Bowie. He's not a post-up type of player. Jackson counters and gets Steve Kerr in the lineup. Technical foul on Tony Kukoc after the foul called by Joey Crawford. Well, Tony's defending Scott down on the low post right here. Scott using that big body, trying to get position. Two coaches allowed to hold his ground. Joey Crawford thought he was being a little bit too aggressive at the defensive end. Scott shoots the technical. Right here, Vern. He just, Winnington just cannot, doesn't have the muscle, the weight, anything to defend Shaq. He can get whatever he wants down there. They have to continue and continue to exploit that matchup. Right now, while Luke Long is on the bench in foul trouble. Winnington guards Shaq. Jordan has Shaw. Here's the pick and roll. Dennis Scott, who coach, guards him. And they'll go to O'Neal. 
He can score there. I still think he needs to take one more or two more dribbles, Bernie. Settle for the fadeaway shot. I think he can get a better look than that. Bill Winnington is satisfied with that type of shot all night long. Largest lead of the game. Here's a foul called on Brian Shaw as Jordan penetrated. That's his second. Donald Royal is going to get a chance to play. He's not played much in the playoffs thus far. And I love Donald Royal. A very active, enthusiastic, energetic player. Comes in, rebounds the ball, plays good deep, but he's not an outside shooter. He's a slasher, loves going to the free throw line. He's a guy that when they've gone to in the past, they double off of him to, for Shaq and Penny in the low post when he's in the game. Rodman and Longley back on the floor now for Chicago. Here's Michael Jordan. Over Shaw. No good. Loose ball. Picked up by Rodman. Kerr. Quickly to Kukoc for three. He's one for 28 in the playoffs from three-point range. And this is a guy who hit 40% in the regular season. And I don't think it's a coincidence that Longley and Rodman come in off the bench and immediately you see an offensive rebound. Rodman throws Longley down. Orlando's getting good looks. You got no complaints when your players get good shots like that. They're just not going down for Nick Anderson right now. Good coach. The runner. No. Here comes Shaw. Jordan back defensively. Makes a pass at him. Brian takes it all away. And Rocky with another board. Good coach. One on two. Curse spots up. Good coach. The coach is struggling offensively. He doesn't look like he's the same, has the same quickness or lift, Vern, with that bad back. 0 oh for 5 tonight. Longley forgot O'Neal was down there. And that's what Longley can't afford to do. They know that Shaq would love to throw those alley -oop passes, particularly Brian Shaw. When Brian Shaw's got the ball, you've got to make him get catch the ball in the post and make him work for his baskets. New coach, Rodman. They're going to get Anthony Bowie for tangling with Dennis Rodman. I don't think they're going to call a double foul. They're nope. just trying to tangle up. Both of them inadvertently. Well, I don't know if it was inadvertent, but they got tangled up at the other end. But Dennis Rodman is showing. He's making them pay, saying, hey, you guys double team off of me. I'm going to hit that shot. Well, the whistle was blown. And calm and peace was restored. Yeah, not a bad play by, by Billy Oaks. And just get things resolved. No foul needs to be called. No basket traveling. Time has been called. The Orlando Magic playing on the road, trying to even the series, enjoy an eight-point lead. And he's doing it against pretty good players. Right here, you see him get a great rebound. Just throws Luke Longley out of the way. He says, hey, Luke, these are my boards. Now, what does it say, though, about the potential demise of civilization as we know it, that his book is number one on the New York Times bestseller list? I have no comment on that, Vern. <laughs> oh, dear. Here's Kerr, Longley. Nice cut. Good coach, here's Rodman. I keep thinking of Chuck Daly, who's got to be watching this game and smiling. Chuck kept insisting all last year, and of course, he coached Dennis in Detroit. He said he can play offense, he just doesn't want to. Well, he can finish. He can't shoot the basketball, but he's a pretty good finisher and a very smart basketball player. Foul underneath. Did they get Ku coach or Longley? Well, Vern, we can see that when Orlando goes to their bench, immediately they come down and double on Shaq, but Shaq is still strong enough to draw the foul. Jordan, two for eight, leads those who have struggled offensively, and here's O'Neal. What about Dennis Rodman, the leading Chicago scorer in the game? O'Neal, two for four. Penny Hardaway back in the floor. And Scotty Pippen's going to come on for Chicago now. Two coach will rest. So O'Neal, Concac, Royal, Bowie, and Hardaway for Orlando. Rodman, Longley, Pippen, Kerr, and Jordan for Chicago. And it's a seven-point game.
And the reason Dennis Rodman is leading the team in scoring right now, Vern, is they've got to do a better job of keeping Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen from penetrating. Shaq comes over and tries to block everything. Rodman's wide open for the easy shot. Bowie's got Jordan. Here's Longley working hard for the shot. It's rejected by O'Neal. Hardaway has it. He's got Bowie left side. Anthony Bowie goes by Kerr. Finds O'Neal. Pippen strips it away. But then Royal gets it back for Orlando. Time to try to draw a third foul on Luke Longley. Pippen with a double team. Concat. Anthony Bowie with a jumper. Got it over Steve Kerr. Good play right there by Anthony Bowie. Steve Kerr got a piece of the ball. Bowie was still able to finish. But Vern, Concat catches the ball at the top of the key. When his man leaves the double, he's got to get himself to the rim, get an offensive board, or get a putback. Are you surprised at how little we've seen of Michael Jordan? Well, Michael's two for eight. He's had some pretty good looks. They're playing great defense on him. Those shots will start falling when they need him. Six fifty to go in the half. Concat, good job defensively on Longley. Rodman with the offensive board is fouled, and he'll go to the line. O'Neal picked up the foul. Beautiful work by Dennis Rodman again on the offensive glass. Sneaking inside of Shaq. Shaq's not a great a box out guy. He just relies on his size and strength to get the rebounds. Right here, Shaq doesn't pay attention for Dennis. Slips right in. You got a thing out there on a horse. Ghost he walks. Who was that guy? Somebody I already killed. Well, guess what? He's back. I'm not concerned with some jungle folk hero half a world away. Wow. Rated PG at theaters everywhere, June 7th. Most competitions start with a level playing field. But when you're competing for Four Wheeler of the Year, you can't count on anything being level. Presenting the new Jeep Grand Cherokee. With its long list of advancements, it didn't just win Four Wheeler Magazine's Four Wheeler of the Year Award. It leveled the competition. I've got a problem. I love to read. Simon, but right here, Luke Longley does a great job of getting by contact, and Shaq goes for the block, gets it this time. But Vern, a key is if he doesn't get that block, you see Dennis Rodman on position to get the offensive glass. So he's got to pick his spots and make sure when he goes for the blocks, he gets them. Shaquille with only one foul to complement his offensive contribution tonight. And Longley's back out to guard him again. Rodman will go to the free throw line. How about this stat? In the second quarter, Dennis Rodman two for two from the field. The rest of the Bulls team 0 for 8. <laughs> That's a shocker, no question about it. <laughs> Michael Jordan getting a rest right now. He'll come back here in a couple minutes and try to give them a big spurt going into halftime. I'll give you something ugly. How about a free throw shooting contest, Rodman against O'Neal? Well, it is ugly. Rodman seems to make him when he needs to, though. He's a, he's a better shooter than his stats indicate, in my opinion. He's got better form than Shaq as well. Contact, a little full court pressure applied now by Chicago. Hardaway, picked up by Scotty Pippen. An eight-point lead, largest lead of the game has been ten. And we've got six and a half to play in the opening quarter. Regular season series won by Chicago. Here's Hardaway. Three games to one. The first game of the season between the two. Here's Rodman. And there were some elbows flying in there. Well, Donald Royal was very upset because Rodman again for the third time sprints, follows Ron Harper all the way to the basket, gets the offensive rebound. But that time Dennis got away with a push. We'll see right here. Ron Harper goes up, misses the shot. You can't see, but you see Donald Royal flying through the air, very upset, retaliates, and fouls Dennis, making him pay from the free throw line. Rodman with nine points and six rebounds. Working very hard, make, keeping the Chicago Bull team within range with his energy and effort so far in the first half. One of two. Here comes the full court pressure. 
Contact picked up by Rodman. Now O'Neal. Here's Anthony Bowie. With Contact and Shaq on the court, they're very susceptible to the press. Contact got it. And Bowie wasn't ready for it. Ten on the shot clock. Into O'Neal. Back to Hardaway. Nice penetration by Penny Hardaway for the basket. Yes, and Scottie Pippen turned his head to give Shaq a little bit of help. Penny did the right thing, slashing to the basket. Nine-point Orlando lead. Scott will come back for Orlando. Here's Pippen with the soft jumper for two. Good execution by Chicago. Just kept moving the ball. Scottie Pippen came free off the pick. Shaq was late helping out. Pippen has eight. The lead is seven. O'Neal. Jump drop over Longley. It's good. See, that was a lot better patience by O'Neal that time. Took his time, got the ball where he wanted to, and shot the nice little six-foot jump hook. 19 points and eight of 12 from the field. Anderson's going to come back on the floor for the Magic as well. They're going to O'Neal a lot in the low post guard. It's going to be interesting to see how much stamina he has to be able to carry this team offensively. Underneath, knocked out of bounds by Shaquille O'Neal. You see, sometimes Shaq settles for quick shots, but right here he gets where he wants to, pump fakes, realizes that Luke has two fouls, and gets a nice little easy jump hook in the lane. Penny makes a good feed down in the low post, does a good job of cutting as Scotty turns his head and allows Hardaway. That's what they didn't do in game one. They settled to stand on the perimeter. Shot clock violation for Chicago and an official change in a foul designation. The one that was given to O'Neal has been changed to contact. So O'Neal has zero fouls. Well, contact must have been in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> Grant on the bench, not suited up tonight, may not be available for the weekend in Orlando. Pippen comes with a double, and O'Neal goes baseline. Oh, boy. Technical foul. Called by Billy Oaks. Who did he get? He got Shaquille O'Neal for taunting as he scored the hoop. That brings Brian Hill and Richie Adubato out on the court. And it puts Steve Kerr at the free throw line right now. He is 18 of 19 in the playoffs so far. My, my. Well, right here, Shaq just backs him down. He's abusing Luke Longley right now. Luke's in foul trouble, can't foul Shaq. But Shaq just looks at him and runs down the other end of the court. That's a technical? I don't understand it. I don't understand that. Didn't even, just kind of looked at him, didn't even glare at him, didn't say anything to him. Billy Oaks has been in some sensitivity training sessions. Yeah, I don't understand that. He read something into there that wasn't there. Too much time in a hot tub. 39-28, 11-point lead. Two coach. He's now two for 29. Well, that wasn't a three-pointer, no, was it? You're right. Two was on the line. Well, the other thing is, is Brian Hill calls a timeout fast because Kukoc is de being defended by Concac. He had a wide open look out there. He's got to get Concac out of the game right here. But, oh, Vern, that is, that is terrible. It's a great move. He just looks at him down the court. Doesn't say anything, doesn't glare at him, just looks at him. I don't understand that one at all. And you played in the league for a few years. Yeah, I mean, they're, you know, they're trying to clean the game up. They're trying to not have any taunting. But if that is defined as taunting, you could call a technical anytime you want in this league. Did you ever get a technical for a soft, doe-eyed look like that? I, I didn't get technicals, Vern. <laughs> that and other fabrications will be uh, followed up on in the late news. <laughs> 4.02 to go in the first half of play. The 22nd timeout taken by Orlando. It'll be Nick Anderson, O'Neal, Scott. Hardaway has it now. Two coach guards Anderson. Anderson. Orlando's done a good job of protecting the ball tonight. Here's O'Neal over Rodman. Offensive board. Rodman comes out of there. Finds Pippen. He pulls up. Goes to Kukos. 
And the foul is called. Good play. Right now, so far in this game, reason, uh, Vern, the reason that Magic are, are have this lead right now is Shaq's has been able to dominate, like we talked about early in the game. If he can dominate, Chicago all of a sudden is coming down, double teaming, other things are opening up in the offense. Nick Anderson gets the foul. That's his second, and Kukoc goes to the line. Well, three-point shooting this year has declined for each of them. Look at Tony Kukoc. That's coming into the game tonight. Well, what is that percentage? One for 27. Four percent. Four percent. Quattro. Talk about having to shoot out of the slump. Yeah, he needs, he'll make a couple. Tony's a good outside shooter, but again, you know that back has been bothered, and you can tell by his mannerisms, by the ways out of the court. I think they should still be able to exploit Tony out on the perimeter. I'll give you a comparison. Rodman for the season was three of 27. Three point range. <laughs> There's Rodman. Phil Jackson telling me to understand the facts. Well, Phil Jackson's saying there was a ball fake. They, they cheated on the weak side, went for the ball to go down into Shaq. But when you ball fake, you're allowed to take a step toward the ball. And that's what Phil Jackson's complaining about. And the second illegal defensive violation leads to the technical. And it's an eight-point game. O'Neal. That's hard away guarded by Pippen. 3-12 to go first half. Well, what a matchup that is, huh? Offensive board. There's Shaq giving Dennis some of his own medicine. Just using that big body to create the offense. We see again Scottie Pippen making Penny Hardaway work awful hard for that shot, making him catch the ball way outside of the post to get the shots. Rodman gets it back into the hands of Pippen. Here's Ron Harper. That's the three. Out of bounds, Chicago ball. Right here we see Dennis, or we see Anthony Hardaway backing down. Gets a good look, but had to work awful hard for that shot. The duties of the commissioner vary. Some are more pleasant than others. Tonight, David Stern presents the MVP trophy to Michael Jordan. How much easier is it to instill the proper attitude throughout the league when your star player embodies it? He, he's not only great, but when it comes to leadership and determination and teamwork, He's the best, so he's a he is a great role model for us. How many playoff games have you seen? You know, I'm here tonight. I'm going to Utah Friday, Orlando Saturday, but because of Turner Sports, I can watch a lot on TV also. Well, Michael's been very good for our ratings. How about a contract extension as long as we're here? Michael's been good for your ratings, and Turner's been great for the NBA. Thanks to everybody, Vern and everybody except Danny. <laughs> Hey, you're still mad at Danny Ainge. That's right, everybody is, Vern. Thank you. Come on, Danny. Hey, hey, hey Craig, how, ask him how many tickets he's paid for. <laughs> Back to play. 2.40 to go in the first half. Here's Jordan. He's two for nine, six points in 19 minutes tonight. O'Neal did a good job that time of sealing Robin off the boards. Hardaway picked up by Pippen. We've got 2.23 to go in the first half. A 10-point Orlando lead. Hardaway left open. Hands a three. Good execution. Scotty Pippen took the shortcut on the pick. Penny popped out to the three-point line, got the wide open three. Largest lead of the game now, 13 points. Jordan. He didn't think Michael was going to quit shooting just because no. he was two for nine. There was no question. He's capable of hitting nine in a row any time. Bushler and Kerr get ready to come back on the floor for Chicago. Kukoc with the double team, and he picks up a cheap foul. The basket will count. Nick Anderson, Konkak, and Scott tonight. Game one, two points between them. Tonight, they've got 11. Yeah, that makes them feel a little bit better there, Vern. They're feeling a little bit better about themselves. They haven't shot the ball great, but they're finding ways to contribute. Everybody is paying their price. Everybody's moving, becoming a lot more active on the offensive at the offensive end. O'Neal, three of five from the free throw line tonight. Make it 
four of six. And he's got 26 points, 16 in this quarter. And he's dominating. You know, we'll see if Chicago, if, if Orlando can keep the lead, Chicago will definitely have to make an adjustment and come down on him a lot sooner. Good defense on Jordan. John Bushler, that's for two. Well, good defense on Jordan because it took three guys to stop him. He still was able to dish the ball to Bushler for the wide open shot. That's why he's MVP. 15 to go in the half. Brian Shaw guarded by Kerr. Scott guarded by Bushler. Dennis Scott gets two more. Well, Dennis took advantage of Bushler. Felt like he could get his shot off anytime he wanted. Dennis Scott, it was averaging 20 points when Shaq was out earlier in the year. He did a lot of posting up on his own. Very capable of scoring down there on the post in certain matchups. Brian Shaw fouls Michael Jordan. Three fouls on Shaw. Well, Dennis Scott uses all that 240 pounds back and Judd Bushler down. Great shooter, as we know, fades away. Very capable low post player. 240? Well, 244. 244? <laughs> you sure about your numbers? I'm sure. I saw Dennis riding the stationary bike. I was kidding him before the game. I said, hey, Dennis, it's too late to get in shape now. Kenny Smith will... Uh, Join Tim Hardaway and Ernie and Cheryl in the studio of the Reebok Halftime Report. They'll have a preview of the Sonics Jazz Game 3. You see Dennis Rodman right there, 10.7 boards. He has kept Chicago in this game the entire first half with his energy, offensive boards, and points. A 12-point Orlando lead, 45 seconds to go before the break. Chicago lost only twice here in the regular season. Only one team has played, has scored more than 100 points on them thus far in the playoffs. And the Magic at 50 as we, uh, 52 as we get to halftime. Oh, beautiful play by Penny Hardaway. Went right through the Chicago interior defense. Laid it up for the easy two. Great pick by Shaq. Hardaway guards Jordan. Anderson comes and gets the steal. Hardaway protects the ball, and we have 17 seconds to go before halftime. And Orlando drubbed here by 38. 38 on Sunday, up by 14 as we get to the break right now. I remember last year when Orlando beat Boston. That one, a foul is called with eight tenths of a second. Well, not a well-advised foul by Michael right here, but we see again, look at Nick Anderson, Shaq right there, three guys ready to pick up Michael. They've really done a good job, team defense against Michael in this first half. And because of the foul, Hardaway is gonna go with a three free throw opportunity here. Fouled while attempting a three. Michael just got a little bit over aggressive, was doing a great job making Penny work really hard to get something. Just incidentally hit Penny on the three-point attempt. Two more. Penny Hardaway got a couple votes. Was second, had the second most first place votes for that MVP. Mm -hmm. Michael Jordan got one fourth place vote. Now that guy should be, his vote should be taken away. How about Hardaway hitting one of three? We have reached the end of the first half. A big turnaround for the Orlando Magic. Shaquille O'Neal, 26 first half points. The lead is 15 for the Magic. Yeah, come down and get the ball out of Shaq's hands much quicker. Either that or see how much stamina Shaq has and how, much, how long he can maintain this dominating performance. Pippen and Harper join Jordan, Longley, and Rodman. Here's Rodman. Longley. It won't go, but the offensive board is up, and Jordan misses. Oh, and you can see Dennis Rodman had to expend so much energy to keep that ball alive. He's the one who was responsible for Michael getting that offensive board by his energy and effort on the glass. Hardaway picked up by Pippen. And Nick Anderson, foul. Called on Ron Harper. We saw this in game one where Chicago came out with a great deal of defensive pressure and intensity in the third quarter. Took Orlando out of their offense. That time Ron Harper called for being just a little bit too aggressive. Concac, Scott, Anderson, O'Neal. Longley picks up. O'Neal tries to front him and knocks it out of bounds. 
Michael Jordan with three of ten in the first half. Very quiet. Very quiet, and a couple of those shots were pretty spectacular. Fadeaway jumpers with a hand right in his face. He needs to be a little bit more aggressive. They need to be more conscious of where he's at on offense and try to give him some more looks. Rodman double teams now backs away. And illegal defense called against Chicago. That's the second. They'll shoot the technical. Well, Orlando's fallen into a little bit of a trap right now. Sha Shaq has dominated the game so far down in the low post, but right now they're getting back to the habit so far in the those first two possessions of standing around on the perimeter watching Shaq do it. That's the danger they have. Scott makes the technical. Jordan guarded by Anderson. He was two of six while Shaw was on him, one of five, two of eight from the perimeter. And only one post up when he took the shot. Because they're having three guys run at him when he's putting the ball on the floor. Those guys, Anderson and Brian Shaw, are getting a lot of credit right now on our statistics sheet of shutting him down. But we've seen Michael put the ball on the floor, and the entire Orlando defense is defending him. Now Penny Hardaway will shoot too. He missed two of three just before the halftime buzzer. And that one uh, rattled around a few times before falling through. Hardaway gets them both. The crowd very quiet right now. And Orlando's got to love that. You want to keep the crowd out of the out of the game as much as they can. Largest lead in the ball game, 18 points. Comcast fouls Jordan. That's three fouls on Comcast, who's playing in place of Horace Grant tonight. Well, right here we can see Chicago looking for Michael down in the low post. Concac guarding Longley at the three-point line. Longley does the right thing going to the rim. Concac did the right thing by trapping Jordan. Ron Harper. Jordan finds Longley or tries to, and it goes out of bounds. It'll be Orlando ball. Oh, Chicago ball. Well, we can see Orlando. That time they sent three guys at Michael Jordan. They know Michael wants to take this game over because his team has struggled offensively with only 38 points. They're very aware of Michael Jordan. Don't want to let him get off. There's Jordan off the glass and in. Well, we see what happens when they don't double team Michael. Jordan now 4 of 11. He's got 12 points. Jordan guards Anderson. O'Neal calls for it. Longley is good. He's got 28. And I like Shaq's patience. Again, he got good position, taking one extra dribble. He gets in trouble when he tries to shoot the ball after one dribble. Harper, Rodman. Shaquille O'Neal continues to guard Dennis Rodman. Here's Pippen. Picked up by Dennis Scott. Longley into the hands of Harper. Five on the shot clock. Ron Harper takes the shot, doesn't get it. Longley with an offensive board. Pippen for three. Short. Rebound Hardaway. A little bit. You got to give Dennis Scott credit right now. Scotty Pippen's been pretty quiet at the offensive end. Done a good job of keeping Scotty out on the perimeter. Anderson for three. Pippen takes it away from Rodman. Well, Anderson struggled a little bit from the three point line. He's 0 for 4 in the game, but he's got to continue to take that shot when he's open. Lead is 18, 9, 12 to go, third quarter. Orlando and Michael Jordan will go to the free throw line as Nick Anderson gets his third foul. Nick Anderson is third. Right here, we see Shaq being very patient at the offensive end. Longley can't be too aggressive with him. He picked up two quick fouls early in the game. Shaq's intensity and aggressive offensive attitude took a little bit of aggressiveness away from Longley right from the get-go. Longley's got to forget about all that and just play. He can't worry about fouling out. He needs to play with the same aggressiveness that he started the game with. Longley scoreless tonight. Remember how Sunday he hit the first four? Here's Anderson saving it for Orlando. Jordan picks him up in the backcourt. Pippen comes in the trap. Scotty Pippen back to Michael Jordan. Beautiful. You 
got to delay a game. Warning is all. Nothing to get too excited about. Right there, Michael Jordan trying to get this crowd in the game. Right here, just turns Nick Anderson. Nick shouldn't be handling the ball full court against Michael anyway. Great play by Scotty getting the ball back to Michael for the dunk. Michael single-handedly has got this crowd in the game. Now Hardaway brings it across the mid-court line. Contact guarded by Rodman. Jordan on Anderson, 8.39 to go, third quarter, and a 14-point lead. Jordan doubling down on O'Neal. O'Neal saves it. They're going to have a shot clock violation. Beautiful defense by Michael. Michael made it very difficult for them to get the ball into Shaq on the low post. Brian Hill needs to make some adjustments. Brian Hill has called an Orlando timeout. An offensive rebounding edge, Danny of 11 to 6, but they haven't converted their second chance points. No, Orlando leads them 4 to 0. And in game one, Chicago converted 27 points off the offensive glass. So even though they have 11, but they're not getting that many shots after or makes after the offensive boards. Harper, Pippen, Jordan, Longley, and Rodman for Chicago. No changes for Orlando. Here's Michael Jordan, fouled by Shaquille O'Neal. Good penetration. We can see Michael realizing, recognizing his team needs some offense. Takes the ball aggressively to the basket. First foul for Shaquille O'Neal. Well, again, Michael talking after game one, that 38-point thumping, how uh, people thought it was a matter of him seeking personal redemption in that game. He had a couple of uh, turnovers that were costly in game two last year against Orlando, and he said, really, it was a team thing. Thus, he decided to play uh, conductor instead of soloist. Well, he played conductor early in this game, too, Vern, but it won't last. With his team behind, he won't play conductor much longer. Yeah, I got a feeling he's taking on the hits on Pearlman role here anymore. Yeah, he scored all the points so far for Chicago here in this third quarter. We can see his defensive presence. Comcat chases it down and calls time right before he tumbles out of bounds 22nd timeout we can see Chicago their defensive pressure picking up denying the ball out of the wings making it very difficult for Orlando to even get the ball into their offensive sets of course game two tonight and then they'll go down to Orlando for games three and four Saturday at Orlando at 3.30 on NBC and Monday at Orlando at 3.30 on NBC. By the way, Ahmad Rashad is here tonight feeling better, and he reminded me at halftime that when you were a tyke, my word, not his, that he and Dan Fouts were your camp counselors. Is that oh, right? Yeah, those guys were my football heroes. Bobby Moore before it was Ahmad Rashad, one of the great college football players of all time. Well, confirm for me that Dan Fouts and Ahmad Rashad or Bobby Moore had to force you to have lunch with them because you were too mean to have lunch with the other guys. <laughs> oh man, he's starting he's starting bad stuff on me already. <laughs> Fifty-eight forty-six, seven fifty-seven. To be continued. A twelve-point game. It was eighteen. Entry pass to Pippen. Turn around. Doesn't get the roll. O'Neal gets the rebound. Scotty Pippen hasn't made Dennis Scott pay for an adjustment. We thought that might have been a mismatch as the game's going on, but Dennis Scott has done an excellent job of defending Pippen, who is only three for nine so far in the game. Scott posting up. Ron Harper guards him. Turn around, too strong. But the put back from John Conkak. Well, it took two guys to seal Shaquille O'Neal off. Conkak was left wide open under the basket. 4-3, in and out. And we see Conkak going the other way. Good box out, drawing the foul on Luke Longley at the other end. Right here, Dennis Scott kind of forces a shot. Good defense by Ron Harper. We see Longley and Rodman on the same side as Shaq. Conkak's left wide open for the tap. And Longley just picked up his third foul that uh, does not yet dictate a move from Phil Jackson on the bench. O'Neal leaves it for Anderson. Jordan knocks it loose for the moment. Here comes Orlando. Dennis Scott gets it, and we'll go to the free throw line. And a cheap fourth foul on Luke Longley. Not an advice foul right there. 
But I like the pass. Nick Anderson didn't stand on the perimeter. He cut to the ball. Shaq found him. The ball movement, people movement, a lot more difficult to defend when Orlando moves bodies and the ball. Scott in and out. But my, the quality of his game has improved from game one. I think this Scotty Pippen matchup has got him a little bit more motivated, recognizing he's got to play every aspect of the game. Can't just stand out and watch. Be a participator, not a spectator. Longley plays with four. Hard away, the switch on Pippen. Entry pass taken away by Scotty. He gets it back, but after shot clock, nope. Shot clock violation. Great defense again by Orlando. The penetration by Scotty Pippen was met by three Magic players, forcing him to lose the ball and the shot clock violation. Scott Hardaway joined by Anderson, Konkak, and O'Neal. Jordan guarding Dennis Scott. O'Neal. Jack smiling on his way down the court saying, I'm having a good time. This is a lot of fun. Longley in foul trouble is going to give up whatever he wants to Shaq right now. Longley's got to forget about foul trouble. They got a bunch of other guys to play Shaq. See how the presence of O'Neal forced Michael to dish it out to the right side. They get the basket. Scotty Pippen needs to get hot from the perimeter. See Chicago's defense extended again, trying to get this crowd in the game, trying to cross some turnovers, making them use some clock before Shaq catches the ball down low. He has it again. Eight in the shot clock. Anderson calls for it. They get it to contact. Three on the shot clock. Ron Harper. Foul. Well, Ron Harper just bailed him out. I thought he had his hand all on the ball right there, but Shaq picked up his dribble too quick. Scotty just faked at him. Looks like Harper's got his hand all in the ball. Concac loses control of it. With no time left on the shot clock, bails him out. And the 15 foul of the third quarter. Concac gets the first. Chicago's doing a very good job of getting Orlando, getting the ball down to Shaq with very few seconds on the shot clock, forcing Shaq to make some quicker decisions. Harper flies in for the rebound. It goes to Longley, and here comes Scotty Pippen. The lead is 17. And the foul is called. Concat doesn't look like he's healthy, Vern. He's walking around on the court with a limp. He's hanging in there and playing very aggressive basketball, but looks like he's got a little bit of a limp to his game. And he just picked up his fourth foul. Harper guarded by Hardaway. Concac puts it back in Longley's hands. Pippen. Harper for three. Oh, big shot by Ron Harper. Great defensive stand by Orlando. Ball just bounced back to Chicago. Good penetration. Harper nails the three right when they needed it. Under five minutes to go in the third quarter. Scott to Concac. Quickly over to Anderson. He's now guarded by Ron Harper. O'Neal out of the double team finds Hardaway for three. In and out. Harper has it. Chicago with a three on three. They'll settle it down. Here comes Michael Jordan. Pippen. And Jordan gets it. shot clock. The runner is short. Here comes Anderson from Hardaway. Boy, that was a tough offensive set for Chicago. Yeah, very tough offensive set. Looked like Michael stepped on a foot or something, rolled his ankle on his way to the basket that time, lost his balance. They die for the loose ball, but it's touched last by Harper and goes out of bounds. Now let's watch Michael Jordan on that last penetration. Well, right here, he knows he's got Penny. He tries to take the ball to the hole, but just loses his balance. Right there, stepped right on Dennis Scott's foot. Fortunately, no injury, no sprained ankle happened for Michael on that play. Uh, Judd Bushler is going to come on for the Bulls, and he'll give Ron Harper a rest. Tony Kukoc also getting ready to end of the game. Well, the Bulls have expended a lot of defense here in this third quarter and trying to get back in the game. They haven't been able to crack. They've only got one point advantage so far in the third quarter. Kukoc for Longley. 
O'Neal gets it. Five in the shot clock. Rodman. And the rebound to Jordan. Here comes Scotty Pippen. Kicks it out to Bushler. Shaw's there. Again, good defense by Orlando. Orlando sealing the play. Are you kidding me? Well, we see Shaq, who has absolutely no respect for Dennis's offensive game, is playing Dennis two feet from the basket when Dennis has the ball eight feet away. Dennis making him pay all night with a jump shot. Rodman is now five of seven from the field. He's got 12 points. Double comes from Pippen. That leaves Hardaway open. No. Jordan with another rebound. Well, we see they're coming down on Shaq right away. Orlando's perimeter game is going to have to start picking it up. Back to Jordan for three. Pippen calls time after the steal. And the crowd will accompany him to the bench with thunderous applause. David Letterman on Larry King Live, Wednesday. Up here, I feel like traffic is miles away. With Yukon's commanding view and accommodating size. Let's go back and take a look, Danny, at that last play, the penetration setting up the three-point shot by Michael Jordan. Well, right here, he's a Scotty kicks the ball. Look at Brian Shaw right here. Dennis Scott right there. Look at their facial expressions as they know, oh, no, who's got him? We can't leave Michael open for a wide-open three. Right here, Dennis Rodman showing his great acting talents. Gets hit in the face, but then watch the double pump flop going back. Good defense, though, by Dennis, causing Shaq to catch the ball way outside of the paint. Rodman with the Luganus. And Pippen with that last steal. That was the 10th Orlando turnover. An 8 nothing run. The lead is 9. This is the closest Chicago has been since they trailed 39-31 late second quarter. Jordan. Foul, Brian Shaw. Well, they're in the penalty right now. It doesn't look to me like Michael Jordan is orchestrating anymore. Vern. It looks like he's playing the tuba, the violin, the drums. He's doing everything. He's the whole band so far here in the third quarter. Well, he gave up the, Pover the uh, Perlman role, and now he's gone to Pavarotti. <laughs> An eight-point game. And he's not only done it with his offense, he's going to score his 13th point for the line right here in the third quarter, but he's done it with the defensive intensity, causing a lot of turnovers. A seven-point game. Twelve in the quarter. Thirteen in the quarter for Michael Jordan. Big character test right now for Orlando. This crowd is going crazy. Michael's got the hot hand. they got to find a way to score some points. It's a big possession. O'Neal guarded by Rodman Pippen with the double team, and the foul is called on Bushler, I believe, who nicked Hardaway. Well, right here, because of the overload that Orlando has trying to get the ball into Shaq, they're making it very difficult, causing a lot of traffic around Shaq. He's not as able to be, he's not allowed to be as aggressive because of all the traffic in there. That time made a great feed to Penny for the easy two. Foul was actually on Scotty Pippen, not Bushler, and it's his second foul. Hardaway at the line. Well, we've been to the practice the last two days, Vern. Brian Hill makes him shoot free throws at the end of every practice. But this is a team that's not a good free throw shooting team. That one slides through. Nick Anderson on the bench. Anthony Bowie is taking his spot. And here comes Jordan. He's got 13 in the quarter. It's back to a nine-point game with 2.20 to go, third period. Rodman. Underneath alley -oop. Nope. And Kukoc saves it. Here's Bristol for three. Got it. 
Oh, big play by Bush. Coming in the bench, hitting a huge three-pointer. But again, second shot opportunity for Chicago. A six-point game with 150 to go, third quarter. Bushler doubles on O'Neal. Underneath, it's Hardaway with the cut and the basket. Well, Michael tried to get there, anticipated the pass. Penny Hardaway did a great job of sealing Michael off and making the catch. 95 seconds to go, third quarter. Jordan, foul by Bowie. These second shots are just killing him right here. Dennis Rodman makes a good alley-oop pass, but doesn't just become a spectator. Gets back involved in the action. Right here, Tony Kukoc finds Bushler wide open for the shot. Judd Bushler, who during the course of the regular season hit 44% from three-point range. And Jordan back at the free throw line. Michael doing a smart thing right now, realizing his team's in the penalty, putting pressure on that extended defense Orlando's trying to supply to him right now, apply to him. And a look at tonight's GMC scoreboard, which of course is last night's Seattle victory. Over Utah by four. We have a six point game here with 90 seconds to go, third quarter. Largest lead in this quarter has been 18 for Orlando as they try to even the series at a game apiece and take the home court advantage back with them to Florida. The runner from Royal is on and won't go. Here comes Michael Jordan. Scotty Pippen over Scott. series has a long way to go. Seems like just a moment ago we were talking about the absent second chance points for Chicago, Danny. Yeah, and they got six quick ones on second chance. But Orlando's offense has lost its intensity, its confidence, its attitude that it started this game with. Right now they're having trouble even getting into their offensive sets. Jordan goes for the steal on Scott. Hippen is there with a quick hand. Bushner from behind. Judd Bushler and Michael Jordan combined on that steal. Well, as Orlando keeps trying to cross, they just keep causing traps. And Dennis Scott can never bail himself out of that trap. Penny Hardaway is the point guard. He needs to take him out of it. He needs to bring the ball to the court and get him into the offense right now. And among the other problems for Orlando, they protected the ball so well in the first half. Five turnovers in the third quarter. Jordan. Deadly. The lead is two. A 15-point lead at halftime is all but evaporated. You know, Vern, everybody always talks about Chicago's great offense, and they do have a good offense, make no mistake about it, but this defense is awesome. And that's what teams need to worry more about, trying to find a way to score. Pippen goes for the steal, gets the jump ball. Vern, they can't even make an entry pass. Chicago's contesting every single pass on the perimeter. Guys are so active. Orlando can't even get the ball into right here. They keep crossing. Penny Hardaway brings Scottie Pippen right over in front of Dennis Scott, trying to get the ball. Scott can't get, get rid of it out of the trap. Tell you, when you've got Pippen and Jordan and Rodman down there, it's like two condors and an albatross. And they get the jump ball, and now they have a chance to tie or take the lead. Jordan has 17 in the quarter, and it stays there, but Pippen is fouled as he gets the rebound. And that sets Brian Hill free. Well, Jordan went up for the shot, and Scotty got fouled at the buzzer, going for the offensive rebound. I think they're just trying to decide how much time is left on the clock. For when the whistle blew for the foul. Four tenths, of Four tenths of a second will be put back on the clock. Well, watch Scotty on the weak side. He's got Donald Royal. Gives Donald the first push. Royal tries to box out, go for the rebound. I guess he fouled him with his back. <laughs> Jumping for the rebound. Scotty Pippen 
will go to the free throw line with four tenths of a second left and a chance to tie it up. When you start playing with this kind of intensity and with this kind of aggressiveness, the crowd gets involved in the game. It all started with Jordan and Pippen's extended defense on the perimeter. They start getting the calls as well. Horace Grant can't do anything but encourage his teammates tonight. Brian Hill is still asking for an explanation of the foul. Missed them both. We've reached the end of three. Michael Jordan leads the bull comeback. 17 points in the third quarter. And we go to the fourth with the Orlando Magic up by a couple. United Center, where the Chicago Bulls also have the oldest starting lineup in the NBA. Eight NBA titles between Rodman and Pippen and Michael Jordan. And experience certainly told in that third quarter when the faces of these men reflect the fact that they outscored Orlando by 13 points and they shaved the 15-point deficit down to two. Well, they've gone to their bench. They got Winnington, Coo, Coach, and Kerr. Certainly not the defensive presence that Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen created in that third quarter. Michael needs a little bit of rest. He expended a lot of energy in that third quarter getting his team back in it. Nick Anderson gets the screen from Scott into the hands of Brian Shaw. Here's Hardaway guarded by Pippen. Anderson for three. In and out. Rebound controlled by Shaw and a fresh 24 for Orlando. Harper guards Hardaway. Scott off the dribble. No. Rebound Wennington. And another chance to tie. They had a chance at the end of the quarter. Harper. Out of bounds. Touched by contact. He narrowly avoided his fifth foul. Holy cow. He tackled him out of bounds. Conkett goes up to guard Harper. Knows he concedes a shot. Or tries to fit it. Just hammers him out of bounds. Ed Middleton couldn't see it from the angle that he had, I guess. I guess. I think all 20,000 people in the stands had a better angle. They could see it. Wennington, guarded by Concac, who was noticeably limping. Scotty Pippen gets it in the hands of Kuko. Here's Harper for three, and the lead, no. The crowd was ready to explode. Well, Penny tries to run, but he doesn't have any teammates running with him. Four Chicago players back quick, stopping that transition. Shaw, foul. These first fouls, this first part of the fourth quarter are very important. In the third quarter, Michael Jordan was very smart by going to the free throw line. Knew they got in the penalty quick, shot eight free throws in that third quarter. So these fouls that don't play anything right now, you just take them out of bounds. Add up here down the stretch of the game. Back to Hardaway, two coach, trying to guard him. Then he takes it to the hole, no. But another offensive board for Orlando. That shot from Scott not there, and Kuko finally gets it for Chicago. And yet again, they have a chance to tie or take the lead. Orlando's not even getting good shots. Penny made a good penetration right there, couldn't finish, but they just got rushed the shot. Pippen from Kukoc, and we're tied. Brian Shaw guarded by Steve Kerr. Under 10 minutes to go. First tie in the game since we were at 2-all. Anderson again in the net. And Chicago with a chance to reclaim the lead. Pippen. No basket. Hardaway called for the foul. Time has been called with 9.42 to go. Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen on the bench. I think they're resting. Right? You know, Michael will be back in before we know it. That person just came from Rodman's birthday party last week. <laughs> Uh, you you didn't go, did you? you no, no, I couldn't. I couldn't make it. You know, Could, Craig Sager did go. Yeah, I heard he was there till four in the morning. That's the rumor. Jordan and Jackson. But that's his job. You know, Craig's got to report that. Someone's got to report it. 
neither Jordan nor Jackson was there. Here's Pippen at the line and a chance for a Chicago lead. Well, Michael didn't get much of a rest. He's back on the court already, Vern, and, and uh, their defense has just been awesome. Chicago, Orlando doesn't know what to do. They can't get the ball to the post. They can't hit the wings. They can't do anything to run their offense because of Chicago's intensity at the other end. Scotty Pippen struggling at the free throw line. He gets one of two, though. He's now two of six in the game, and the Bulls are on top for the first time in the first quarter. They've wiped out an 18-point third-quarter deficit. Harper guard Shaw, entry pass. Back to Anderson now, here's Scott. O'Neal only four points in the quarter, and Pippen with a steal. Underneath Ron Harper! What a dandy heads-up play at both ends of the court for Scottie Pippen. Orlando has no, no answers at the offensive end. They're just playing tight. They have no confidence in their set themselves. They can't even get the ball. It takes them to 13 seconds just to dribble it up the court and get the ball into Shaq. They force the double team again. Another turnover by Orlando. Over and back. That's 14 turnovers in the game. Well, beautiful anticipation by Scotty Pippen. He knows they're going into Shaq sometime. They've taken away the aggressiveness. The other players just standing around on the perimeter watching the ball go into Shaq. Beautiful execution after the turnover by Chicago. Dukos gets it to Pippen. Now Michael Jordan. Hardaway comes with a double. That leaves Ron Harper open. Scott with a rebound for Orlando. 8.33 to go in the game. A three-point Chicago lead. We can, see, we can see Chicago, Vern, getting good looks. Even when they're missing, they're getting good looks at the basket. In contrast to Orlando, right? Orlando can't even get a shot at the basket. Not even a good one. Five fouls on Longley. Rodman comes back in. Two coach, Rodman, Jordan, Harper, and Pippen. This is a good lesson for teams, though. You know, there's a lot more to playing interior defense than just doubling post. This intensity on the perimeter has set the tone. They've had trouble even getting the ball down to Shaq. Brian Shaw finally takes it strong to the basket and gets it off the glass for two. Beautiful move. That's only the second confident move, aggressive move on that perimeter pressure that Orlando has tried to and made Chicago pay for extending their defense. Jordan's 17 points in the third quarter ignited the Chicago comeback. They're up by one. Here's Jordan over Shaw. Good execution, just a pin down out of that triangle offense, getting the wide open shot. Brian Shaw got picked off. In this quarter, Shaw's layup ended an 0 for 7 run. He's got the ball in his hands now over Harper. Two more. Shaw. Brian Shaw, two aggressive move on Ron Harper, the defensive specialist for Chicago. Harper underneath, kicks it back to Jordan. Shaw defends. On the line, turnover. Some good defensive pressure for Orlando at the other end, Brian Shaw. Brian Shaw getting Orlando back in this game. The only one to play with confidence right now. They've got to get Shaq the ball down in the low post like they did in the first half. Force the double team, and Anderson, Scott, Hardaway, they've got to make them pay. Shaw. This one won't go. At the other end is Ron Harper. Saves it. It was an errant pass. Two coach. Foul by Hardaway. Before the basket. Six minutes and 50 seconds left. It's turned into a dandy. Point deficit. They are up by one, 74 73. They try to take a 2-0 edge. And what a contrast in offensive production for the two superstars. Well, abs. you know, Shaq had such a dominating first half. Chicago here in the fourth quarter, he's only had one touch that led to a turnover. You know, it's the perimeter defense by the Bulls. They just can't. Orlando's just playing with no confidence. They can't even get the ball into their offensive sets. And Kukoc at the free throw line. Turnovers eight. 
for Orlando in this half. And Michael at the other end, 19 second half points. I think he just made up his mind. We only had 38 points in the first half. We need to score. Well, Jackson up lending encouragement and talking quietly with Scotty Pippen as Kuko hits them both, and it's a three-point edge once again. Randy Brown has come on for defensive purposes now, and he picks up Shaw with a little full-court pressure. And Randy Brown, you know, he's a guy that comes off the bench. He may be better than all of them at the pressure defense on the perimeter. Now, Shaw had hurt them a couple of times. There's an illegal defensive call, illegal defense call. Hey, Vern, I'm sorry. Forget about posting up Brian Shaw. Get the ball to Shaq on the block, force the double team, and they got to make him pay for the perimeter. They can't keep posting up Brian Shaw with Shaq on the court. That's become almost uh, as if they don't know he's there. Here's Scott with the technical. He gets it. I mean, no offense to Brian Shaw. He's made two big hoops here in the quarter, but he's averaging four points a game in the playoffs. Kukoc defends the inbound pass. Here's Shaw again. Randy Brown has it. O'Neal out on the perimeter. Now tries to get his position. Rodman comes in front, makes the steal. Here's Randy Brown, who was fouled by Penny Hardaway. And again, that was good defense by Rodman, fighting over the top of Shaq, but it was the pressure defense by Randy Brown. He was all over the ball. Pippen gives him a good bump, slows him down, going down to the block, but we can't see it there on the screen. But Randy Brown was all over Brian Shaw. Couldn't see Dennis Rodman coming around the weak side. Randy Brown will get a rest and the applause of the crowd. Young man who played four years in Sacramento, signed as a free agent here. He grew up in Chicago on the west side. And you love that from your bench, Burn. Phil Jackson's got it to go. That's great. The guy comes in, plays a couple minutes, causes a couple turnovers, makes things happen. Rodman looks for the cutter, finds Kukoc. Five on the shot clock. Pippen from way outside. No. And Scott is there to clear it for Orlando. A two-point game, 5.53 to go. Anderson has missed all five of his three-point shots tonight, takes another. Finally ends the drought. And that's really critical. That's what they got to do. They got to get the ball down to Shaq. Chicago knows that Orlando hasn't been shooting the ball well on the perimeter. A couple shots like that might make Shaq get to play one-on-one -on -one again. Orlando back on top by one. Jordan with the answer. Nope. O'Neal with a rebound. Rodman is there defensively. Just get the ball down to Shaq. The game's not that hard. <laughs> Here's Shaquille. He and Rodman reintroduce themselves to each other. And O'Neal gets it. Good pass into the post right there. Shaq, good patience on offense, but again, they double teamed him. Shaq actually had the shot or the pass out to the open. Dennis Scott that time. First field goal for O'Neal in the quarter. And a three-point Orlando lead. A 6-0 run. Hippin. Rodman with the board. Illegal defense. O'Neal with 26 at the half. Hardaway had 12 and Scott 9. And you can just, you know, you can blame the Orlando offense some, but you got to give credit to that Chicago defense. It has been awesome. Steve Kerr at the free throw line. Shoot the technical. They've got to be more aggressive, Vern. They're walking the ball up the court after makes because of the pressure by Chicago. They need to get the ball into Penny's hands or Brian Shaw's hands and run the ball up the court, get the, clock, get the ball down to Shaq with an early clock. Instead of quit running all these plays for him, get the ball to him soon. Steve Kerr, Jordan, guarded by Shaw. Oh, the dandy rebound from Dennis Rodman. Timed it perfectly. Well, Michael drew a lot of attention again on the drive. Dennis Rodman came free right down the lane for a beautiful putback. Rodman has a playoff high of 14 points to complement his 11 rebounds. 
The double comes from Curry, and O'Neal goes over Rodman for two. Beautiful play by Shaq. That time, Penny's presence in the corner paid off. Pippen didn't try to play both and help out on Shaq down in the low post. Shaw guards Jordan. 345 remaining in regulation. Who coach? Nope. Out of bounds. Scotty Pippen is so long and athletic to keep that ball alive. Nick Anderson had good position on him, just couldn't keep him off the glass. But right here, look at three guys. There goes Shaq for the block again. Doesn't get the block. Dennis makes him pay for the easy dunk. Magic leads by two. Shaw guarded by Kerr. Looks for O'Neal. Traveling. No. Offensive foul on O'Neal. You know, Dennis Rodman is playing very aggressive defense all over Shaq. Pushing him, holding him, grabbing him, doing the deep playing defense the way he should. Shaq just tries to get Dennis off his arm and gets called for an offensive foul. Dennis has a hold of his arm right there. Shaq's just trying to free up his arm. I don't like that call. Back at the United Center in Chicago, Game 2 Eastern Conference Finals. Orlando trailed, or rather led, by as many as 18 in the third quarter. Jordan, key to come back. And Chicago took the lead, which they've now relinquished again. And with 321 in regulation, Orlando leading by two points. Let's check in with Craig Sager. During the last time out, Michael Jordan complained of a cramp in his left calf. Trainer Chip Schaefer massaged the leg, also put some ice on it. And now he appears to be all right, but his left leg and calf was cramping up. Gordon? Uh, Chip Schaefer has uh, been MVP for that team during the playoffs, hasn't he? Well, I tell you what, Michael Jordan has put out so much energy tonight. It's amazing that he can even walk out there and still shoot those fadeaway jumpers battling Brian Shaw right now. Michael Jordan has played 40 minutes tonight. Guarded by Shaw in the low post. Longley sets a double screen for him. Here's Jordan. The switch with Anderson on him. It doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. What a beautiful shot. Great defense by Nick Anderson. There's nothing you can do about that shot. 31 points for Jordan. We're tied. Under three minutes to go. Pippen on Hardaway. 4-3, Scott. Kerr has it. He's got Jordan left side. Pulls up, takes the jumper, and hits it. Big shot by Kerr. Orlando couldn't come out and contest the shot because Michael would have been left for the alley-oop dunk. But what a great defensive play by Jordan, contesting Dennis Scott's open three-pointer. Now Jordan fouled Scott. Well, right here, Dennis takes the ball to the hole, picks the ball up, going to the basket. They'd say no continuation, out of bounds. Only the third team foul. So Orlando, it's stolen. Longley got in the way. Jordan, Randy Brown. Oh. Well, Vern, they're trying to throw the ball into Shaq from the out-of-bounds play with three guys around Shaq. Set your offense up. Right here, look at all the traffic in there. There's no way they can get the ball to Shaq. Jordan and Luke Longley standing right next to him. In the playoffs, Randy Brown, five of six thus far in limited action from the free throw line. Hardaway picked up his fifth foul. That's what being a role player is all about. Come in, just do all the dirty work, play as hard as you can because you're not going to get a lot of time. Two big free throws for Randy Brown. The lead is four. A six-nothing Chicago run. Randy Brown guards Shaw, goes for the steal. Tried to pick him from behind and was called for the foul. Too aggressive? No, that's good defense. Almost got away with it. If he gets away with it, he gets an easy two the other way. No penalty. Take the ball out of bounds. Team fourth. Anderson will inbound. Pretty clean pick right there. It sure was. They have trouble getting it in. Brown on Shaw. 2-10 remaining in regulation. And Chicago up by four. O'Neal, Longley guard 
grabs it. Brown comes with the double. Here's Shaw. No. O'Neal is fouled. That's what Orlando has to do. Unfortunately, they got to make the threes. They got four pretty good perimeter shooters outside the double team in Shaq. The second he touches the ball, they got to make him pay to have a chance to win. Shaq has had a pretty good night. He's had a very good night by his standards at the free throw line. Four of six so far. That wasn't pretty. That ball never even got above the rim as, as it left his hand. Rodman for Randy Brown. O'Neal shoots one more. Regulation. Jordan gets it to Scott and Tony Kukoc. Shaq's done his job, Bernie. Dominated the first half, caused the double teams by the Bulls' defense. Orlando's perimeter players haven't made him pay. Four on the shot clock. Jordan, no. Offensive board, Pippen, and a fresh 24 with 90 seconds to go. Beautiful play by Scotty Pippen. Huge. You know, everybody knows they're going to go to the offensive board. You still can't stop them. Rodman. Foul before the shot. Rodman will go to the free throw line there in the penalty. You know, Orlando's a very good offensive team, Vern. This defense, they got three first team all defensive players. Rodman, Pippen, and Jordan. And then you got guys that may be better than all of them. Randy Brown coming off the bench. Ron Harper's done a spectacular job all year at the defensive end for him. This is one defensive basketball team. Rodman doing his best to emulate Shaq O'Neal at the free throw line. A clanger with his first. 82 seconds to go in regulation. Rodman shoots one more when we come back. Orlando was up by 15 at the half, by 18 early third quarter. But Michael Jordan ignited a comeback. Dennis Rodman has been a force tonight with 12 rebounds and 14 points. And now with 82 seconds to go, Jordan and the Bulls lead by four with Rodman at the free throw line. And I wonder where Penny Hardaway has been in this fourth quarter. He's 0 for 1 in the fourth quarter, no assists. Brian Shaw has been handling the ball 90% of the time and having difficulty getting him into their offense. Rodman gets one of two. Full court pressure applied by the Bulls. Scotty Pippen has did a great job right there. Maybe that's the answer. Scotty Pippen won't let Penny Hardaway catch the ball. But Penny Hardaway, as great a player as he is, has to demand the ball. Hardaway waits left side. Shaw now gets it in his hands. Ten on the shot clock, 65 to play. 65 seconds, that is. Hardaway stripped and knocked out of bounds with four seconds on the shot clock. Another big defensive play by Pippen and Harper. Sealing off the drive by Hardaway. Scott, three on the shot clock. Oh, big block by Jordan. And a shot clock violation. Michael Jordan. And we can see Michael, he's limping a little bit, grimacing as he's walking down. Those calves and those cramps are hurting. But hey, a minute to go in the game. You got to grind it out. Had a big advantage. Scott knew that he had to shoot it. Jordan knew Scott had to shoot it. A tough situation for Dennis Scott. Steve Kerr comes on now for the Bulls. Pippen inbounds to Kukoc. Kerr finds Rodman. We're five points down at this much time on the clock. If Rodman catches the ball, I'm sorry, I got a foul. And Scotty Pippen hasn't been very good from the line tonight either. Kerr guarded closely by Anderson. 11-10 on the shot clock underneath. Pippen gets it to fall. Anything but a lay-in. Anything. A 9-0 Chicago run. The lead is 7. Foul. Two coach or Kerr? Two coach. His fifth. Good play by Nick Anderson, forcing the issue, becoming aggressive, drawing the three free throws. And a three-shot foul. 
Well, they're down seven. They certainly need all three of these free throws. And they're going 29 seconds. They're obviously going to have to foul. Chicago coming in with Luke, a much better free throw shooter than Dennis. Longley on. Rodman sits. Rodman's arguing with Phil Jackson for taking him out of the game. And with some degree of discontent, takes his place at the end of the bench. Well, that's a smart play. They need the rebound right here, but Orlando has to foul right away. Chicago just has to inbound the ball. Longley's a much better free throw shooter on the year than is Dennis Rodman. Uh, Rodman's not too unhappy. Dennis says, let me get the rebound. Let me take the ball out of bounds. I can pass it. Two of three for Anderson at the line. Just under 30 seconds remaining, and the lead is five. We need to foul Scotty Pippen right now. He struggled from the free throw line. You don't want to foul Kerr. Hardaway guards Jordan, and he'll go to the line. Hardaway is fouled out. Well, they let 10 seconds go off the clock there before they committed the foul. Chicago did the smart thing, got the ball into Michael's hands right away. Hardaway limited in his effectiveness in the fourth quarter. He winds up with 18 points, 6 of 15 from the field. Anthony Bowie takes his spot. The entire Magic team was limited in their effectiveness in the fourth quarter and the third quarter. Jordan gets the first. Certainly a different story, Danny, from that humiliation they suffered here on Sunday. But what of an 18-point lead that you allow to get away on the road. Yeah, that defensive pressure. You know, they, they worked so hard in the first eight minutes of the third quarter. Four points, we, four minutes to go in the third quarter. We said, hey, they're only, they've only gained one point. They go on a 10 nothing run at that point, and it hasn't stopped since. Get your... 19.4 remaining in the game and a seven point Chicago lead. We talked about the great defensive team they have, Danny, and they've really shown their mettle here in the last 17 minutes. Oh, there's no question, Vern. They've only scored 18 points, Orlando has, in the last 17 minutes of the game. And they've done a good job on Shaq. Shaq made, had some good spurts. They just doubled the heck out of him the second he touched the ball the entire second half. Remember we had we were talking about uh, a team scoring 100 against Chicago just before the half. Well, Orlando has scored 30 in this half. Anderson, Shaw puts it up. Rebound, O'Neal. Back to Shaw for three. Got it. And a four-point lead. Foul called on the inbound play. Big shot by Brian Shaw, keeping him with a slim chance. Michael can make these free throws and seal the win. The lead is four with 7.6 remaining. Michael talking to Scotty Pippen and Ron Harper. So how can we give up a three-point shot? Jordan at the line where he's 13 of 14 tonight. Rodman back. Hardaway fouled out. You know, Vern, Chicago has only held serve winning these first two games. It's important for Orlando now to go home and win these two games. Then it becomes a three-game series. Three-game series. That's going to be a lot tougher to do than it seems to just win, beat Chicago any place. Time called, 7.6 to go. And here at the United Center, it went down to the wire as the Chicago Bulls came from 18 down in the third quarter. And they are up by six now with 7.6 remaining in regulation. Vern, this Chicago team is absolutely incredible. I don't think I've ever seen a half of defensive basketball like I've seen tonight. Just taking a good offensive Orlando team completely out of their game. Scott will inbound. Shaw. Underneath, the dunk is good. 5.3 left in this one. I don't understand that play. A three pointer is all they need. They need they only had two possessions. They have no timeouts. They need three pointers. Now they don't have enough time. And the foul is called. 
This is our last telecast uh, for Danny and me, our first year together, and we want to thank our producer, Mike Burks, for all the fine work in the truck, Lonnie Dale, our director, our associate director, Joe Vincius, and our font coordinator, Ted Ballard, known affectionately as Hoiberg. Fred Hoiberg, Jr. And all the folks back in Atlanta for their support throughout the playoffs. I was talking to Nancy Lieberman before the game tonight, Vern, and uh, I think she's the best woman basketball player of all time. Now, you're stirring up a hornet's nest. You know that. Uh, I'm just trying to get ruffle Cheryl's feathers back in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy Lieberman Klein is among those here tonight. She uh, just was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. No more Dallas stories, Vern. Ah, oh, come on. She's a Dallas gal. Scott, it's over. The Bulls are up 2-0. Michael Jordan with 17 in the third quarter. And let's quickly check in with Craig Sager. Well, Michael, you guys were down, down 18 in the third quarter. The defensive pressure was relentless. What changed? As you say, we, we went into halftime, and uh, I think we had time enough to make adjustments to the way they, they made adjustments after game one. And defensively, we felt that, you know, Shaq did a lot of work in the first half, so we figured he was a little tired, but we were going to try to double-team him anyway. And, and we were able to shut down their, their scores. And, you know, we, we, we moved up the pressure on the defensive end, and we, we, we created a lot of turnovers and got right back in the ballgame. Did you feel like you had to carry the offensive burden in the third quarter? Well, I'm a leader of this ball club, and i got to do something to try to get people involved if, if I feel it's stagnant. And, you know, we, we didn't really play particularly well today offensively. And, uh... You know, I, I had a chance to, to open it up for the team and, and get everybody involved. Once I got a couple of steals, everybody started to believe, and we started working harder. I know, I'll let you go in. Your legs are cramping up, but how bad are they? You know, I, I just got tired. I, you know, I, I really pushed myself, and I think everybody did, and, and I just started cramping up a little bit. But, you know, for a win, I take it. It wouldn't be right for the MVP to lose on the night he gets the trophy anyway. Thanks, Mike.